much as the uh, film industry is at the moment after the uh, COVID pandemic come through and uh, you pretty much just really knocked things around a fair bit, especially with Hollywood. Uh, it's always good to actually still see some films actually getting made, especially here in Australia. And, uh, you know, there's been, uh, yeah, certainly again some news reports here of uh, you know, major film stars actually coming to Australia to film in the last 12 months. And, uh, you know, it's been, there's also quite a lot of future projects that uh, all the Hollywood studios are looking at to uh, get filmed here as well. Mostly because the way we've uh, managed to control COVID, it uh, makes it better, more easier to uh, do things like film. But uh, all things aside, it's also you know, very good for the local uh, or the Australian film industry as well for Hollywood to uh, come along and have film films, you know, get things filmed here basically. But uh, all that aside, you know there is still a bit of a Australian talent there when it comes to uh, creating their own films and movies and stuff like that. And the one thing film I saw that uh, got released this year is uh, Occupation Rainfall. Uh, it, it, this film is actually a sequel to, uh, to the first film back in 2018 that got released called Occupation. So it's a bit of a follow on story from that. But uh, just to sort of like get the idea of flow off, you know, it's a very good idea to actually see the film Occupation. You're probably able to see it online somewhere like, uh, I know it's on Netflix. You might, you know, have a bit of a look around and you might be able to find it and watch it that way. So I certainly recommend that you watch the first film before you watch the sequel. It sort of like uh, makes you a bit more on the catch up side with, uh, with the follow on with the story. And uh, you know, you might find that some people might find that uh, you know, first attempt type of thing from a strain doing a sci-fi, it's a uh, yeah, it's certainly very helpful. It's, uh, but uh, with the uh, sequel here of Rainfall, it has had a bit more of a cash injection and you know, a bit more story development and whatnot. And it's all like continue on until like ten years after the the uh, first invasion of you know, from the first film. And like I said, it's be a bit more of a cash injection into it. I think they're now having a budget of twenty five thousand, or not twenty five thousand, but twenty five million. After you know, probably a small, quite a lot smaller budget with occupation, it probably definitely, it definitely shows. Where, where, where it does have like a lot more uh, action involved and. Or more like a CGI side of things with it, especially with some sort of the uh, action and battle scenes they have with it. And, uh, you know, certainly you see it a lot bit more with uh, the sets as well and all that. It's storyline wise, it's still like, you know, it's still like a bit of a turn of the tide where they, you know, they're trying to do their best to hang on to Sydney, but they can't and had to, uh, you know, look at other means and everything else like that, but so like some of those other means could easily be a bit more in the uh, genocide side where some people want to try and create some sort of harmony and, you know, so like the uh, united side of things of uh, trying to live together and uh, but others just want to see the uh, invaders completely destroyed. So you sort of like have that bit of uh, argument in the storyline of oh, who's, who's right and who's wrong and and uh, all that sort of thing, while they're trying to find the uh, trying to find the right answers on how to, uh, you know, in one way defeat or one way or another live in peace with each other. So it's yeah, very good strong strong uh, storyline behind it all. And you probably could easily some of the things there could easily be related with some of the things that's been going on in the world these days. So it, it is a very uh, action-packed uh, style of sci-fi of, uh, uh, you know, and that sort of scene and everything else like that. It's, uh, you know, um, certainly is, you know, if, if you're looking for something, I definitely recommend watching it, you know. 
not to mention it's you know very helpful for the Australian film industry and stuff like that, especially if you end up seeing it from an international you know perspective. Not to mention you know the, at the moment there's probably in the cinemas here in Australia there's about four, including the uh, rainfall of other films that got filmed here and uh, quite some of them have been quite quite well received here and, and uh, you know, both in reviews and critical claims and stuff like that so you know it's definitely worth actually having a good look at the uh, some of the Australian films I'll uh, mention in the description below what's been released in the you know last month or so if you want to look at something a little bit on the different side but as well as you know there's uh, quite a lot of other things here that's sort of like been filmed here that's you know from from Hollywood, uh, the current uh, that uh, bio series that uh, based on the Dwayne Dwayne Johnson and uh, there's also the uh, fourth installment of four and there's quite a lot of little uh, projects here and there that's being filmed or you know in the works of being filmed here. So don't be surprised if something so like something's going to be released that's probably going to be filmed here in the next couple of years. So until Hollywood's able to get that back to, back up and running. But uh, regardless if you end up seeing it in the cinema or all seeing it on streaming and stuff like that, but at the end of the day it probably the best thing to try and help that sort of uh, film industry and all that side of thing. So, you know, I was definitely if you can afford it, I definitely encourage you to, you know, you know, be supportive in that way. So yeah. I was definitely going to be looking forward to what what's next on the list I want to see at the cinemas. But uh, in the meantime, consider subscribing down below. And until next time, have a good one.